What's up guys? Click the subscribe button and press the bell icon to stay updated with our videos. Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. So, Bank of India credit officer notification is out. Today we are going to discuss that notification. Today we are going to discuss uh, how to prepare for the exam today we are going to discuss the exam syllabus so everything we are going to discuss today so first of all what is the eligibility criteria uh, if you are you know the age should be between 21 years to 30 years and the cutoff date for this eligibility criteria is 1st of april 2018 so on 1st of april 2018 the age should be between 21 years to 30 years and the qualification is masters in commerce science or economics or pg dbm few others uh, you know master degree programs like mba and all and they are also included and then company secretary cost accountant chartered accountants they are included engineers are not included here if you have done mtech then you are not eligible if you have done mca even then you are not eligible so let's go further uh, there are one uh, 150 questions 50 marks each uh, in English for English section there are 50 marks general awareness 50 marks financial management 50 marks the total you know time duration is 120 minutes one mark for each question negative mar marking is one fourth one fourth mark will be deducted for deducted for each wrong answer so let's start first of all what is the pattern of English paper English section 50 marks right the difficulty level will be at par with IBPS, PO, SBI, PO, right? All the same reading, comp there will be two reading comprehensions, para jumbles, error spotting, vocab, synonym, antonym, sentence corrections. Same, 50 marks, very easy, whatever you have done till now for the preparation of SBI, PO, IBPS, PO, the same books will, will be, is going to be useful here. So today, I mean, what I'm going to discuss in depth is about general awareness and financial management. So what uh, what you should read for the English language, we have prepared the notes for that. Uh, you can read the book by Ren and Martin, amazing book. If you're reading a newspaper, that is amazing. Then what to read for the general awareness, important point. For the, it is not the gen, general uh, IBPSPO, SBIPO wala general awareness. In this general awareness, let's start with the RBI, SEBI and NABARD's notification, first of all, uh, what are the various functions of RBI? What are the various committees within the RBI? I mean, how, how RBI works? What are the various schemes by RBI? Uh, that's a part of, uh, that's the first part. RBI, SEBI and NABARD, NHB, uh, regulatory organizations, then the RBI's notifications. Yes, for IBPS or SBI PO level exam, there is no need to go through those RBI's notifications, official RBI's notification, official RBI's bulletin. But for this exam, you need to go through the RBI's bulletins and notification. We have prepared a proper summary for that. I, we will provide the summary. So actually, we are going to start a proper course today itself and you will get the link uh, of that course in the description. You can download the previous month's RBS notification summary. We prepare a proper summary and that summary uh, PDF link is available in the description. Please check the description. Uh, then the simple banking concepts, the banking products, different types of banking products, different types of services offered by banks, right? That is actually part of it. How NEFT works, how MIC, what are MICR, how CBS work, how SWIFT, Swift uh, works, what are forward contracts, how the bank is helping in swap contracts, right? So kinds of swaps contract and forward contract, how the bank, uh, I mean, how it works, how the bank manages the foreign exchange, types of foreign currency account, all the simple concepts are part of, you know, the syllabus. We prepare a monthly banking awareness digest. I request all of you to download this free digest. Link to that digest is available in the description. Please check the description. Then let's move on to the various banking updates. For example, uh, there is FR, DI bill. You need to go through that very important various bills related to banking gratuity or similar big various finance bills very important even the union budget is very important because anyhow uh, the bank banks are actually related to that 
then uh, basal norms right the accounting standards for banks they are, they are going to be released very soon very important then various committees for banking organization for banks the new types of bank banking organization the payment banks small payment banks right that's all for the banking portion i hope i mean this rbi's notification i just mentioned one line but every month there are 14 to 15 notifications by rbi and one and two notification by sebi they are freely available on their website very important so we are preparing the notes for that everything is available in the description please check the description then what about the static gk simple all the list of important days you know the cabinet minister although there will be like four or five questions from this a static portion the list of cabinet ministries this is not a static portion but you know anyhow this is not going to change in a year or so so it is a kind of static portion uh list of international organization their headquarters and all right and further one more important point reports released by the international organization that is a dynamic topic hdi report is of doing business report various reports what, what is the rank of india how india is performing and what are the you know indicators of that report what are the parts of that report we have done a proper notes on that please check it uh in our course in a complete bank of india credit officer course we are providing all these note, notes right then there are government schemes very important after international reports there are government schemes government schemes by central government women welfare you know poverty alleviation employment generation all these schemes are very important then important appointments important awards and all that very important so let's move forward what for financial management you are going to find 50 questions from financial management but what is the intep syllabus of financial management it is dynamic as well as you know static in nature so let's start with the basic financial terms there can be question regarding a very basic financial terms in most of the exam in which financial management uh, is an objective paper there will there will be like four to five simple questions related to financial terms so we will provide we actually we are actually doing in depth classes for financial terms uh, i'm i'll provide you all the links in the description right please please don't forget to you know check the links in the description then derivatives are very important what are the various types of derivatives how they work what are future contract forward contract option contract swaps how they works then the time value of money numerical portion there will be numericals in the exam although calculators are not allowed but there will be numericals uh for the time value of money uh there are topics like what present values future values annuity growth annuities very growth annuities very important then kinds of mutual funds mutual fund concepts how is the uh, structure of mutual fund organization structure how mutual fund works and who's the regulatory authority what is an offer document how that works everything uh, same goes for the insurance types of insurance rules irda how the how it works everything theoretical concepts then the ratio analysis and financial statement analysis various types of uh, ratios solvency ratio profit uh, profitability ratios how to calculate the ratios very important then working capital management again very important topic break even analysis very important then cost of capital and capital structure although different topics but very important cash flow statement forex capital budgeting uh again the cash flow statement is kind of a theoretical topic but capital budgeting uh, cash flow statement according to accounting standard 3 capital budgeting leverages dividend decision and the basics of technical analysis right basis of basis of basics of technical analysis and mutual funds and stocks what are various kinds of ratios what is a beta ratio what is beta what is sharp ratio you know what is stock volatility basics of what is a candlestick approach basics of that so that is the syllabus of financial management students so which books to refer first of all please do not buy prasanna chandra many of the teachers are going to recommend you the prasanna chandra please don't buy it it's a huge book you won't be able to complete that book within 2 months it is an amazing book but you won't be able to complete that but that book within 2 months so don't buy that book and for that uh, what you should study actually i mean we have a complete in case you are able to find a good teacher you can follow that teacher but we have a complete course we are preparing complete study material 
from past four months we are preparing complete study material for each of these topics i am conducting a video class every day which is followed by proper notes and we are conducting test for the each of these you know chapters there are chapter wise test and there are full length a uh, full length test full length mock test so even for the general awareness the banking awareness digest is available for free from from past 4 months it is available for free for general awareness digest the gk digest we call it it is always free links to previous 6 months digest is available in the description i request all of you to download that even the english grammar notes are available all the links to the free pdfs and our premium course in our premium course we are going to provide video classes and you can access those video classes from your mobile phone via bank exams today mobile application or from bankexamstoday.com and you will get the access to our premium content and you will get the access to the test series and you can you will get the access to the doubt clearing sessions as well so i hope you are able to understand the syllabus you are able to understand what you need to study now so in case you have any kind of doubt you can call me personally my number is 9067201000 and my email id is raman@bankexamstoday.com so i think that's all for today students in case you are having any kind of doubt please comment below like this video and subscribe our channel that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day bye